Hey Taurus and welcome to your Tarot Love Readings. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you and see um, what's going on with your special someone here, especially what's going on with them emotionally and internally. Um, see whether this is uh, love or not. As always guys, these messages are general so please be mindful of that throughout the spread. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for Taurus, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and um, for those of you that may be cross-watching as well. Okay, Taurus, you've got the Knight of Cups, the Devil, the Four of Pentacles, the Strength, the Seven of Pentacles, and the World card. Okay, a really interesting combination of tarot cards here on this um, table. Now, I'm drawn to the Devil here, and whenever the Devil makes an appearance in your tarot spread, it often is suggestive of lust, a strong type of infatuation, temptation, um, so I'm not necessarily seeing for the time being, it may not necessarily be love just yet, but I do get a sense of a strong, um, intense um, attraction, a physical attraction, or like a, a, a lot of chemistry, a sexual kind of en energy, a lot of passion. So the two of you are very physically attractive um, to, to one another. You're very physically drawn to one another. Um, it can also denote that the two of you are very you're maybe codependent on one another, very co-reliant on each other, where you're sort of, you know, the devil has this magnetic hold over you. I mean, take a look at his, <clears throat> take a look at the devil's stare. It's almost like he's got, it's almost like he puts you in this trance. It's got this hypnotic stare. It's almost like this trance state, right? So um, from what I'm seeing, a very strong, intense um, level of emotions here. Maybe not just, not love just yet, but um, love and lust do feel very quite similar in emotions until, you know, love starts asking of sacrifices. Okay, and with the Knight of Cups here, now some of you may be dealing with a water energy or you may be dealing with someone who I feel like is very, um, they're quite an emotionally, they're very deeply sensitive or they're quite an emotional being here. I do feel like this is someone who... With the Knight of Cups, you know, he's very charming, he's very, he can be very idealistic here, maybe he has this tendency to, maybe he's not always realistic though, I feel like he has this tendency to build un, um, unrealistic expectations surrounding the connection, so you, you could be dealing with someone who loves love, or who, who loves the idea of love, or who, who wants the idea of a relationship. Okay, maybe not so much the relationship itself, maybe they're more prone to, you know, idolism here, especially with the Knight of Cups. Um, I do feel like this person that you're dealing with, um, your romantic interest here, I do feel like they have feelings for you, okay, they have um, strong feelings for you, whether this is lust, infatuation, you know, curiosity, I feel like there are romantic feelings and um, a romantic energy here that exists between the two of you here. With the Knight of Cups, I'm also seeing that your person here, um, Taurus, I feel like they're not very, um, maybe they're not so good when it comes to emotions or emotionally expressing themselves. Um, if they are water energy, water energies tend to be like a deep sea of emotions and sometimes they can tend, if they don't manage through their emotions, um, they can tend to overwhelm themselves. So I do feel like maybe this is someone who's holding back from you emotionally, someone who I feel like wants to tell. I can see that they want to come in with a message of some sort, but I feel like they're also a little bit guarded or a little bit closed off. Or maybe that this is how they perceive you as someone who's a little bit shielded, as someone who's, you know, not as emotionally, emotionally vulnerable as they want you to be here. So someone who's a little bit closed off or um, someone a little bit emotionally guarded here not as open you know it could be your energy it could be the energies of the person you're dealing with because it is a general reading it's hard to say here um, and with the devil I, it, the devil has this dark setting so I feel like you know if it is 
infatuation it's almost like an intoxicating kind of infatuation he's almost like someone he is very intoxicated by you is very intrigued by you there's a lot of lust there's a lot of um a lot of attraction here and i wonder if i mean i wonder if for some of you maybe this is more of a casual um arrangement type of a situation for others of you maybe you are dealing with someone who is already in a relationship or in a commitment to someone else there's an element of temptation here that exists with the devil as well now with the four of pentacles uh taurus this is your energy so it rules the um earth signs of um Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. It's a quite a conservative kind of card. It's to me his tight posture almost suggests that he's a little bit, you know, he's a little bit defensive here. There are some insecurities. The Four of Pentacles placed alongside the devil. I feel like the person here has insecurities. So either you're dealing with someone who is scared of emotional intimacy here or is scared to open up or you're dealing with someone who i feel like has fears and insecurities here surrounding love maybe falling in love um, maybe they've been hurt in the past and this is why they're sort of shielding themselves they're a little bit closed off or a little bit guarded um they just may also have insecurities that stem from you know um childhood experiences or from early experiences here as well um, they may have a fear of opening up as mentioned earlier it can be that you know the energies can be reversed here but to me i feel like this is someone who holds the, the person there is someone here who i feel like is very res uh, restraining here in their actions and their emotions as well because it's almost like they have something to say but they don't know how to deliver it they don't know how to say it and with the strength card i'm also seeing that um it sometimes can be dealing, you know, in dealing with this kind of energy can sometimes be a little bit exhausting, can be a little bit much at times, um, and it can be a bit trying. I'm also seeing that there is there is a need for you to have patience here, either patience with this person or maybe you've been patient enough with this person. So either it's getting, what I'm getting at is either it's getting to a point where it's like you've been tolerant enough, tolerant of, you know, this person and their energy enough. So you've been patient enough or there's a need for you to be just a little bit more patient with them, you know, in them opening up, um, opening up their heart and opening up their, you know, the, themselves to you here. There's also this animalistic kind of um, sense to the card, isn't it? It's almost like, you know, you've got the um, maiden here who's trying to tame this wild beast here. And she seems to be doing a good job. So, again, I'm getting that there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of excitement, a very strong sense of physical attraction, sexual energy here. So you guys are very attracted to one another. You're very physically attracted here and drawn to one another. But I wonder if, you know, the connection here is primarily based on lust or primarily based on physical attraction here. Now with the Seven of Pentacles as well, I am getting that some of you may be uh, like frustrated here. Maybe you feel as though you've invested a lot of your time and your energy into this person. For some of you, you could potentially be on a break with this person or you may you may be wanting to take some time away because maybe you're not necessarily seeing i'm getting this sense of frustration that is coming through um and it almost feels like you know the way that he lays his head over the um the garden here the garden tool here seems to suggest to me that he's kind of fatigued he's kind of getting a little bit over it he's putting so much work and energy into the garden and although he's seeing results i don't to me, I don't feel like he's seeing the results that he wants. So Taurus, I feel like, you know, you feel as though your person needs to give you more than what they've given you. You know, you just want them to open up a little bit more. You want them to communicate a little bit more. So I get a sense. I feel like this is your energy, though. I feel like you're the one that's frustrated. I feel like you're the one that's been patient enough. You're the one that's been very tolerant. So it's almost like you're a little fatigued. It's almost like, you know, you're at a point where something's got to give. And if it doesn't give, where to from now? That's what I'm sensing for you. And with the world card, I mean, this is, look, I feel like there is long-term visions and views between you and this person inside. I do feel, I 
see how this person could fit into your future or how can or how they could shape a mold into the future here or how you could fit into there so i do feel like there is potential here especially with the earth the indication of the earthly energy that has made an appearance in your spread it is you know earthly energy it is a very grounded stable and secure kind of energy so i am seeing this connection holding a lot of potential but i'm also seeing that it's going to require some work which probably will leave you in a state of exhaustion and state of frustration here but ultimately taurus i feel like it's important for you to ask Ask yourself you know whether this is worth the investment because it's going to take some time here and um, it'll probably be a little bit more fatiguing um, fatiguing is that a word more exhausting um, but I am sensing that there is a lot of potential I feel like you know if the two of you sort of cooperate with one another I do feel like this can be a rewarding connection and you know if I mean lust is important I feel like um, lust is important because it's the glue that holds partners together in a relationship so you know don't get bogged down on that but and i feel like feelings and emotions could develop from there so whilst i don't feel like it's love just yet i feel like it has the potential to be and i feel like this this person um has the potential to fall in love with you they see themselves falling in love with you or they see themselves you know in the future possibly opening up to you but it, is it going to take some time yes indeed Okay, Taurus, and there you have it. So thank you guys for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, by liking, commenting, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the week, so do stay tuned, guys. Thank you again for your time, your energy, and your support. Greatly appreciate it, and bye for now.